I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing around the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks, I held on to that thought. Until the valley from my mother's stories, I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. Hello everyone, and welcome back to APN Gaming. My name is Jared aka CornFedCracker93, and welcome to Medieval Dynasty. So this is a game that I've had my eyes on for quite some time, and it just came out on Xbox Series X for a release. I would say graphically, it's probably a little behind most, you know, AAA title games now, but I still think it's a pretty great game. I've been playing on my own. I've got probably a good uh, 10 hours probably into the game, all told. Maybe a little less than that, but close to that. And I decided, you know what? I need to record some footage. So, we're starting a series right here of Medieval Dynasty. So, basically this game is kind of odd in how it works a little bit, you know. It's very interesting, it's very awesome, it's got a lot of things that I really enjoy about it. We're just grabbing some of these things while we're here in the spawn location. Taking sticks and rocks and these broadleaf plantains. So basically, this is set in medieval times, in medieval dynasty. Uh, it's kind of a survival-esque, but also like a village building. Think Age of Empires, only with a lot of survival mechanics. And I guess sort of like a, a kind of like a Sims vibe too when it comes to, you know, the family aspect of it. And I just leveled up. Let's take a look at that. So I'm leveled up in Survivor Knowledge. So here's kind of our skill trees. We have a lot. We have an extraction skill tree, a hunting, a farming, a diplomacy, survival, and production. And we can put points into all of these. They level up separately. So we just got a survival skill point. So we can put that into here. And I think the best one to probably put this into is gaining more experience every time we do a survival ex you know, activity. So we're going to level up that a little bit quicker. I also, before we go any further, I did go in and adjust some of the settings. Everything is vanilla except for your XP gain multiplier, my multiplier, your technology gain multiplier, and dynasty gain. I turned those up about 50 points. As far as, it, they're normally at 100, now they're at 150%. It's just to kind of, I guess, help us out a little bit. To take a little bit of the grind out. I mean, it's still going to be very grindy. But I think it'll have a little better place, uh, pace for videos. It's what I'm playing on on my other game, and I'm moving still very slowly. So, it's really not game-breaking. I was debating on turning it up to 2, but I don't want to make it so we progress too quickly. 
Obviously, I got some knowledge behind me when it comes to the game. Um, so we're going to not have so much of a learning curve, but I, I did things wrong really in my first playthrough easily. It did them wrong. And I'm not saying that I know the right way to do it now, but I think I have some tips and tricks that would help out a little bit as far as, you know, the average gamer, I'm not going to be helping you out to let's make a lot of money our first day type of thing, but we're going to, I think we're going to make some smart choices on this playthrough which is good. I, I, I really just wanted a game to play, but then I realized how good this game would be for actually making content. So now we're doing that. So we're collecting some of these resources, some of these base resources right here. Um, graphically, like I said, this game is it's decent. I mean, it's not breaking any you know barriers for you know 2022. That's for sure, but. For what you have for the game, and I was actually amazed at the size of the game file. It's like a little over 6 gigabytes, probably closer to 7. But it's 6 point something gigabytes for a game. The map isn't really that big, but it's still fairly sizable. But for the sheer, like, what you can do with this game, the gameplay mechanic, however simple they may be, they're still pretty in-depth. So it's kind of impressive that they have made a game like that that's not, you know, so space-consuming on your Xbox. Obviously, with these new consoles, the games take up a lot more space. So I'm going to stop kind of talking about things, and we're going to kind of dive into this. We're in this little town here. Is this... Here we go. Though, those eyes, I, I didn't think I would see them again. One blue as a sky, the other black as a lump of coal. Oh. So you're not a ghost. Good. For a second there, I thought I lost it. Haha, <laughs> but your eye, you look just like him. Sorry, you must have me mistaken with someone. I'm new to these parts, just arrived at the valley, actually. My name is Resimir. I'm Wanda's son, aren't you? Jordan's nephew. What? Did you know my mother? No, really, I knew her. I knew of her. We didn't ever actually meet. I wanted to keep her family, his family, separate. I don't think I understand. You will wait. What do you mean by did? I know her. Is she well? I hope she is now. Whatever that might be. I've lost both my parents in the war. Damn it, this world, sigh. I guess it can be as cruel as it is beautiful. I'm sorry, my boy. Somebody should lose their... Somebody should lose their loved ones at such a young age. Nobody should... Oh my god, I can't read. It's okay, they've died so I could live, and I plan to make the best of the life that I can in order to honor their sacrifice. That's very mature of you. I'm sure they would be proud hearing that. You mentioned my uncle Jordan. I actually came here looking for him. Oh, Rasmir, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Your uncle Jordan is no longer with us. He passed away three years ago. I'm so sorry. I understand how you must feel. He was my dear, a dear friend of mine. So that's it. I'm the only one left. Don't you say that. Hey, look at me. This valley is filled with warm-hearted people who will gladly aid you with whatever you need. I am one of them. Feel free to go wherever you like and start a new life. I grant you permission of the Castellan to build and farm on any utilized land in the valley. Construct yourself a house and see what comes next for you. You can even build a whole village if you please. There are many travelers passing through. Maybe some of them would like to join your settlement. Just like that, I get land free of charge. Well, you'd you have to pay taxes to the king annually. But apart from that, you are free to do as you please as long as you don't break the law, of course. At least if... Or at least don't get caught, basically. That sounds amazing. Okay. So we're going to kind of skip through some of this. There's a lot of dialogue. Okay. So we got... We, we kind of know all this stuff, so I'm not going to go ahead and read all of that. 
So craft a stone axe. So we kind of did all that. We collected resources on the way down. So we kind of skipped most of that process. I'm also going to go into third person. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but. Let's go hand crafting and we can craft a stone axe. Here we go. Look at these geese. Eventually we can have like geese like this and cows and that's a long ways down. I don't even have them on my other playthrough yet. There's a stone axe. Oh, we can. Okay, so we're technically supposed to be cutting down trees. Let's go out here and do that. Uh, we got our stone axe here. We got to cut down five trees. We'll cut down these ones over here. So the great thing about this game is you can literally build your village anywhere you want, pretty much. We could stick really close to this village, or we could go a little ways away and build our own place somewhere else. I think the smart thing for us to do would be to build a little ways away on good flat land, but also stay fairly close to come into town to do a few things for the start. Now there's three. If we cut down these other two trees, we should have enough to start gathering some logs. I don't even think we're going to be able to carry all these, if I'm honest. But See, what I don't really know yet, and I haven't got that far into the game, is what is the significance of having different names for the trees? Like, is there something you can do with a maple tree as opposed to a spruce? I that That's the kind of thing that I'm not really sure of yet. We've got to craft a hammer. We can do that. Inventory's kind of full, so we're trying to kind of spread some of this out. I'm not going to pick up all those logs right now, but we can come back and get them. So on my first playthrough, on my own time not recording i'm kind of built up in i want to say maybe up in this area right here somewhere like over in this area i think for the sake of this one i'm actually kind of looking down there on the other side of that bridge it looks flat i we got to kind of walk over there a little bit and see about maybe building our place over there there should be some reeds here in the water that is straw in this game. So we can go kind of along here and collect enough reeds to get the amount that it's telling us. It's kind of teaching us the gameplay mechanics a little bit. Uh, telling us what we need to gather. We kind of know all this. I will say in my other playthrough as well, um, I kind of built too much too quick. I went and got people to come to the village and ended up one ended up leaving because... I didn't have like enough resources to feed and water them or I was kind of just learning too a little bit. Uh, towards the end, I was able to keep somebody there in the village with me for a while. Um, but I still think I got too big and I was worrying about building up my village before actually outfitting it the way I needed to. So that's something we're going to kind of fix in this one. I'm going to go kind of the homestead route first, build myself up and then, uh, yeah, we can we know that too. Build myself up and then we can kind of bring in other villagers and stuff and kind of expand a little bit. All right, let's get a drink of water while we're here too. Somehow we don't get uh bad diseases from drinking that water. All right, and we're going to go down here and kind of scout out this area. See what it looks like. I'm actually going to come in here and we're going to Drop one of these logs. Ugh. I might have to. Maybe we'll just grab it. I'll we'll just kind of saunter. We're really over encumbered right now, so we have a lot of sticks and stuff on us. But we're gonna need all that stuff to craft the house. So I really don't want to go throwing too much out. So I'm kind of eyeballing that area, like over in there. It looks really flat. I don't think there's a house or anything. I don't think there's anybody built on it. It's close to that village. It's close to this village. And it just kind of looks like a place that would 
look good for a, a village, a homestead. We can obviously expand beyond that too at some point. And I mean, look at the forest too. We got all kinds of trees up there we can cut down. And over here. It's taking us a while to get there because we're so encumbered. We're going to need to worry about food and stuff like that as well. Yeah, doesn't that just look perfect over there? Like, it looks like there needs to be a village there. Running out of stam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is try to just concentrate on doing a homestead. Concentrate on some farming. There are some planks and stuff here. I don't have the inventory space to grab them right now, but we can come back for them. See, yeah, that just looks like a place that needs a village right there on that riverbank. Like, this is perfect. It's moderately flat. Like, over in here is, too. But I think we got a little bit more space-wise over in here. Oh, I'm still out of stam. And look at this. All these reeds right here in the water and right there. Like, this is going to be perfect. I had to almost think about building right over there, too. But I can just picture like crops over in here. Like this is just perfect for a place to build. All right, so we're gonna start right here and we're gonna kind of build us a road. So we're gonna start right there, come down in here. We're gonna kind of make a road. Somewhat like this. Then we're gonna start right here and make a little bit of a road right there. And now we're going to try to see if we can build our house. And I'm kind of thinking right on this knoll. Then that just, maybe we'll turn it a little bit like this. Nice. All right. Now we need to, I always hit the wrong menu button in here. Wooden hammer. Put that right there. And now we just build out our house. We should have almost enough resources to do all of this. There we go. We're going to need more logs. That's okay. We kind of knew that was going to be coming. Yeah, I mean, look at all this build area. Like, this is perfect. Oh, we got a spear already. A copper spear? What kind of durability does that... Oh, nice. There's some good stuff here. And a water skin. Yeah, this is killer stuff to read off the bat. Like... Fur. A torch. Okay. Some good stuff around that broken down wagon. Alright, so we're going to need some lumber. So this is kind of why I'm choosing this area too. I don't want to clear that the couple of trees that we have down here. I'd like to keep that there for aesthetic reasons. And we'll come up here. And we'll cut down some of these. We'll kind of use this to farm our lumber. All right, we got a ton of berries up here as well. Those are going to be good. We can sell those, make some money. There's probably other things we can do with them as well. All right. We also got a bunch of lumber back at the other base, but if we don't have to go all that far right now, we're not going to. There's a ton. All right. So we got some more logs up here. We're just getting started. Just getting started building up. We got plenty of sticks, stones over here. I can just picture this with like a bunch of fields out here. Maybe a couple of houses. Right now we're going to get building our homestead down here on this bank. Eventually I'd like to have livestock like chickens, geese and kind of build ourselves up. Slowly, maybe eventually incorporate from villagers, but I think right now, concentrate on building up this this homestead is going to be probably the smartest route. All right, we literally need one more log. Of course we do. We got a bunch more up here that we didn't grab. 
because our inventory was full. I could go unlimited weight. There's a bunch of customization options we can choose from. And we just got another survival point. Let's take a look at what we got here. So I th still think that... I mean, this would get that one completely. Oh, we have two points. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to max this out first. So then we'll have more to use on the next route. All right. Let's collect all those logs. We'll have a few extra that we're going to need anyway. Always out of stam. Yeah, it's, it's really... Uh, daring to put it on no weight just because you really can't haul a lot but i'm trying to keep it as close to vanilla as possible obviously i turned up the multipliers just to make the game progress a little bit quicker there so let's get down here boom We do have a ton of sticks, so hopefully we'll have enough to finish this, or at least be pretty close. We do have to watch our stam. Yes, yes, we know all that stuff about sleep. I don't know why it's telling me that right now. Maybe it's because I'm my stam is getting lower. And just like that, we almost got our house done. I think we might have enough sticks to actually get close to finishing this. Waiting for that stam to fill back up again. I'm going to try to go as uncut as possible on this. Obviously, I'm going to cut out some of the tedious stuff from time to time on the episode. But for the most part, I'm going to try to keep a lot of it in. All right. We got some sticks needed up here. Still need a few more logs. And we're going to need... Oh, Oh, we do have straw already. I forgot we collected reeds, didn't we? I don't know what the respawn rate is on some of these resources. Like if the reeds will respawn every season or what will happen along those lines. But I think we're going to have enough straw to do this. And then we'll just need a bunch of logs. Yes. So let's go get us a bunch more logs. It's getting almost nighttime now. And then really what we're going to want to do is get into the crop stuff. Sooner rather than later. Get us some spring crops planted so we have some food going. Ooh, there is. We might take a sidetrack here. Because there is something right there. We're going to make a couple of spears. I'm going to try. Let me see. Let's put these... Put these in our slot three. Oh boy. Did I just kill that? I'm pretty sure I just killed that with my fist. <laughs> 
I swear there's nothing turned up with that. <laughs> you guys will never believe me that I just killed that with my fist. But, uh, okay. We need a knife now. I did get a little bit of health loss, but nothing major. No, we're definitely going to need that meat, so. And just like that, we have done it. Let's get that knife going. We'll skin this badger. I didn't think it would come after me. I thought it was a like a raccoon or something at first. There's four meat. Dang. Okay. Well, let's go up here. There's another one. Oh, there we go. Okay. We'll crouch. See if we can get on this knoll. There he is. Ow, he might actually kill me this time. I think I killed him. Okay, we're not gonna take our chances anymore. And we're just gonna skin this dude. And then we're gonna head back down and try to stay alive. Cause it is getting nighttime too, so. I am not liking how dark the game is. So we are gonna turn the brightness up some. I don't mind for myself playing, but for you guys, it looked a little dark to actually be able to see what I was doing. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we need here. Two logs, one log, one log, one log, one log. That's it for the logs I got. Well, wow. this may be harder than I thought. We're going to have to run all the way up here and get more locks. There is a few things that I wish they would uh, have done with the game. And that's make some of the stuff more early game that you can get to help you haul stuff. A mount, maybe, would have been nice. I guess I do get why they stretched the game out quite so along I mean it is quite a long form game so all right let's chop this up now we got a level up in extraction so let's take a look at that a lot of these are the same way if we level up the first one to max we'll actually get more credit towards the getting more stuff unlocked down the road so that's what we're going to do with a lot of these uh technology over here we have a well accessible now a couple other things so we're, we're working our way up we can get a shovel eventually and grab these stumps i'm just not worrying about it right now i'd like to get our house finished so we can at least rest for the night All right, I'm gonna pick up one more of these. Eh. Can I just like hobble back? Oh, this is a long trek. <laughs> yeah, this is painful. We're gonna uh, we're gonna drop some of these. Let's drop half. Maybe they'll roll all the way down. Maybe we'll get that lucky. Keep rolling, log. Maybe this will work out. Keep rolling. It literally might roll all the way down here. Is that cheating? I would say not. It literally is still rolling down the hill. That's kind of funny. <laughs> all right. Let's, uh, it's still coming, so we're, we might work out even better. <clears throat> All right, where is this log? Right there. There should be four more in here. And just like that, we might have just enough to finish the house now. Mm, maybe not. We might need another one. Put that one on. Two. No, we literally are going to have just enough. House completed. 
Yeah, yeah, we know how that works. So there we go. There is our house, at least. So this is one thing that I was curious of in here. So can we edit this house? I don't know what menu I just had open. Well, let's light this fire. And now we can cook off our badger meat. We'll have something to eat. Here, we'll cook off all this meat that we have. There, that's it. So now we can eat a couple of pieces because we are actually pretty hungry right now. Uh, I don't really think it gives us a whole lot. Obviously, we got a good chunk, so... It's going to help us a little bit, and we'll eat the rest of these dried meat to fill us up pretty much all the way up. Oh, and we have a water skin, too. Where is that? Because that actually is going to come in handy, too, especially early game like this. We'll put that over in our five slot, and we can come down here, fill up our water skin. Well, where did our water skin go? Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's not hel as helpful as I thought it would be. Well, there we go. That's going to do it for this episode. I think we got our house at least put in. We do have a ton of sticks. We're going to try to store some of this stuff. Our resources over here. Uh, we don't have really a lot, but the feather and the fur we're not going to be able to use right away. So we're going to put those in there. And yeah, we have a house. It's going to be nice to put a small crop somewhere. I haven't decided where. Maybe up here. Just to, just to help us out with our homestead. We also have room to expand up on the hill behind us. I'm kind of liking this setup. I'm really liking this area. That's going to do it for this episode. We're going to sleep until the next day. And we'll take off from there in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time right here on Medieval Dynasty. So excited to play more of this game.